Avi, thank you for joining us. <laughs> Can you sh share a little bit about how, um, well, yourself, and then how you got involved um, sure. in the project as well? Yeah. Um, so, a little bit. I mean, I, I did recently graduated from USC. I think they're at a master's program there in production. Okay. And that's kind of how we met. Um, Chris over there did a, a piece for one of my uh, mentors and bosses and um, at, at USC. Okay. And when he was looking for people, he reached out to him to see who he could recommend. And, yeah. Uh, we got in touch that way and I met with Theo and that's, that's the story. Yeah, so let's talk a little bit about what has been your role and what have you brought to the series? Well, I directed it. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and can you tell me a little bit about the experience of directing these guys? Because obviously we've gotten... Um, All right, cut. <laughs> <laughs> We've gotten a nice full interview here of, of the characters and these guys and their connection. And so, you know, share a little bit about what it's been like to direct them. It was, it was fantastic. Yeah. Um, I, and I, I mean that honestly. And, and usually I don't tell them anything that would boost their egos because they're already big enough. <laughs> <laughs> but um, I've, I've, uh, I've had some experiences that were very difficult in the past and some that have been great. And these are definitely some of the best. Um, sure. I mean, I came in, the chemistry was already there, yeah. um, you know, and, and the one thing that I have to say is usually as a director, especially someone who's, who's younger, um, it takes a lot to earn people's trust. Yeah. And that's kind of everything because if, if your actors don't trust you, they don't listen to you. Mm -hmm. If they don't listen to you, you're not going to get what you want. Mm -hmm. And these guys, even though they're probably more experienced than me, have done, you know, a lot more, been on set more than me even, um, I felt like from the beginning, they... You know, as soon as I talked, they listened, they did things, and it stayed to the end. And uh, that's a gift to be able right. to work with people who do that to you. Can you share with me what it's like to be a fairly new and young director in this town? <laughs> it's all I know. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I think it's, it's, you know, it's, it's got its ups and downs, of mm -hmm. course. Um, you know, you feel like you're on the top of the world when somebody, you know, like this will trust you to put mm -hmm. their projects in their project in your hands mm -hmm. and uh, it's, it's a great just chance to do what you know, your dream is sure. um, but in between it's a lot of struggle it's a lot of uh, there's a lot of pressure you know too that comes with it you know if uh, people do give you the opportunity to do something you know, mm -hmm. it's, especially when it's money and it's time and everything like that it's uh, you know and, and you don't have you know a lot you can go back on and, and, and say well I've done this I've done that you know it's mm -hmm. you want everything you do to be the thing that you can show the next person, the thing that proves that you can make it in this town. So sure, of yeah. course it's, it's, you know, it's difficult, but it's really thrilling and it's really a privilege, I think. To, right. Yeah. So back to this project, um, were there any surprises for you while you were <laughs> filming? You know, anything at all, any surprises? And I, and I mean it in a good way, like something you're like, wow, I, I haven't seen that before, or this was just sort of priceless, this moment, or anything like that? that Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Um, and I think one of the coolest things for me on this particular set, and I don't know how these guys feel, but like, for me, I tried to approach it with a very open mind and, and very like, I mean the script was there, it's a mm -hmm. great script, and we, we stuck to it, but then as soon as I felt like we had gotten what's on the script, I kind of, and what I wanted, I felt like I did my best to open it up and let them do their best to open up to whatever might happen. Or sure, okay. And I, I'd say without a doubt, a lot of my favorite moments in the, in the final product are, or not the final yet, but the one that we've been playing around with, are things that weren't planned. Right. Um, from each of these guys. Right. Um, it's, it's really, you know, yeah. So you're talking about just, sort of in the moment, off script, and that it's, you know, what they're doing is they're playing to add and enhance and... Well, the, the thing was telling about how, you, you know, with Elastic was always, you guys, actor's choice. Like, you gave us a lot of, you would give us a good structure, and then also... Let us have some, some free time at the end to sure. play, which was great. Yeah. That actually came from something that I'd never done before, uh, but on the last piece I did, um, about halfway through, I had an actor who had never, hadn't done much on screen, must have been a theater actor, sat down with me and goes, um, you know, this is good, but I just feel like I've lost control, like I feel like on stage, you know, it's all about, you know, I get to set the time, I get to do this, and, and I create the character, and, and we're here, like, you know, I feel like I lose that. Mm -hmm. And I, but I realized kind of that that'd be tough as an actor to give up, mm -hmm. and but I still went and did the, the things the way I'd kind of been taught, the way that I thought it was right to do, and uh, then when we got in the editing room, I realized that a lot of the stuff from the first takes 
I didn't want that I then corrected for things that we ended up using. So mm. I thought, it would be cool if I have time just to kind of let them do whatever the hell they want. Sure, uh, yeah. And these guys delivered, so I tried it, and I'm really glad we did that. That's great, yeah. yeah. So what about you guys? Share a little bit about working with uh, I had a miserable time working with them. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't like him at all. I never want to do it again. He's good looking, I mean, but, I, yeah. <laughs> nah, you know, I, I think, um, you know, I, I, there's, there's a thing that, and I'm a big fan of, we talked about this before, is the whole trust factor, mm -hmm. you know, and, and, you know, it's very rare that you get to work on a project where people are willing to leave their egos out of it. Right. And, and you know, when you, when you have a little bit of experience, you, you, uh, you, uh, you kind of feel like you know what you're doing and then somebody tries to get something out of you and you're like, well, how would you know better kind of a thing. But, but you know, when you're undeniably good at what you do like he is, then, then, then it, it's not up for debate. Sure. You know, it's, it's, and, and you establish that through, through action, not mm -hmm. through talk, you know, mm -hmm. and you know, in the beginning, you know, we work with somebody I've never worked before. You're okay. Well, is this, there's all these doubts and questions and you've got to go through that stage of seeing how he operates and, and he, he a good leader will always make you feel like you accomplished something on your own. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? And I think that's what I noticed. Like every night I come home, I'm like, man, I was amazing. I was the, you know? <laughs> and I was saying, oh, I'm unbelievable. Yeah, I'm, I'm unbelievable. How do I do it? I'm unbelievable. How do I do it? And then I look at it, I'm thinking to myself, and, and, and over the next two days of watching, I kind of like, wait a second, I didn't do that. He kind of made me do that. Right. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Right. And I'm like, you know, I'm like, Argh. you know what I mean? So, so I go back and said, oh my God, this time I'm going to nail it, right? Because at this point, now you want to impress him because you want to do the best you can for your coach, right? Right. And so I come home again, I was like, oh man, I, I was, uh, once again, I just, you know, hit it 600 feet out of the park, right? And then you look at the cuts, you're like, oh man, that's actually all his suggestions. <laughs> but, but he doesn't come out and say it. Okay. He kind of was like, you know, what's so good. I like how you do this. Like, if you do more of that, but in reality, it's like, you know, and that takes a lot. Trust me, uh, that, that takes a lot of talent. That takes yeah. a lot of, of, a lot of, you know, because people just tell you do it like that because they want to be bossy and, and, sure. and entitled. But, but he gets it from a, from an art, art perspective. And sure. uh, I look at the cut now, and I'm just like, wow, this is actually really all this he's doing. You know what I mean? And, and, and that it's very rare in this town, especially. Mm -hmm. And I think it's rare. And, 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 and I, I, I think it's, 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 it's very, very, very good. Trust me. A couple yeah. things I liked um, about it was he's dealing with three very different personalities and all very strong ones with okay. very big opinions. Right. And I think there's a very specific skill to talking to an actor and mm -hmm. not rubbing them the wrong way or quelling a process yeah. that they have. Uh, guy, and he's, I thought, very, very good at that. Ask him. And if we got a combative or whatever back, like, if he always had a reason why, like, well, why are we doing that? Or I don't sure. know, I'm not wrapping my head around it. And he would was explain. And then, like, oh, okay, I see what we're trying here. I get it. Yeah. And you know, it doesn't work. You're willing to go for it because you're spoken to it the right way. It's a very big skill to talk to three big ego heads like us that are all, think we know everything, <laughs> think we're all hilarious. Uh, and, and keeping, you know, we're all reasonable, but like, guiding us and having your head wrapped around the whole picture of how it works and making us understand it. Right. Um, I also thought another good quick thing to, to explain about him was, when, upon finding him, was the pedigree of where he came from. Um, a guy, his mentor has, has won an Emmy Award, and the, the people he got on board have won a couple different Emmy Awards. He brought on a pedigree of people that he learned from mm -hmm. and was able to loop into this, which is part of the reason why it looks so beautiful. That's something else he contributed aside of the directing part. You know, which uh, having the, that kind of quality on something like this is, uh, that's next level stuff. Yeah. He's a very good director because in, in, in the episode you see we're all equally good. But when he came in and he realized right away that Smitty was on a much lower level talent wise yeah. than uh, me uh, and Thea. Uh, so to get him up like there, it takes a lot of skill. skill. I'm like the right about both actors. Just, I just keep on clawing away. And eventually I'll, I'll be a champion. I'm like, I'm like a dog chasing. I, I, I think so. I know the dog chasing guy. Is kind of well, well, for me, for me, and my interaction with Avi, I mean, I, I, I was on the interview with him and met with him, and uh, yeah. I had that. So I've spent more time with him than any of these guys, and particularly when it comes to when I think about the production aspect of it or pre-production aspect of it, like we spent a lot of time together, and there'd be just moments. Spending time with him going over, like, okay, you're gonna need this, you're gonna need this. And I'm like, is this guy gonna tell me I need more money? Like, what? You know, like, just, you need this, you need that. And so uh, there were some times when uh, it, was, it got a little, like, butted heads a bit on a couple things. Because mm. I, I was trying to save money in a way, but, like, I knew that, like, I wanted this to be good, so I couldn't, like, I couldn't hold 
too tightly. Right. You know, he's rarely argumentative either. So that's really rare that this happened with you. Know, he never gets very rare. Never argues about anything. Yeah. yeah. So um, <laughs> let alone get out of control. <laughs> but, um, so so we we butted had a, heads a few times a couple uh, during a couple of meetings that we had, and uh, you know it it just speaks to you know him as a good director as he is and an, an organizer that we were able to like just get. There were small things. There weren't like big blowups or anything like that. Sure. But just you know, when you're in in something, yeah. and you're so you're so uh, committed to something or you're passionate about something, and you want it to be good, but you just there's you feel like there's so many barriers sure. stopping you from getting it to that point. Yeah. You know, and um, that's one of the thing things I can great things I I saw in Ali was that he has he has solutions. He has mm. solutions. Very high patience level also. And uh, yes. he, ha he has solutions. And very like just, you know, even just the creative part of it, like allowing us to do our thing. Like I personally, I have this acting coach that I work with and I was, I was like, it'd be a great idea to have my acting coach come and sit with us because it's like, I want this to be good. Like we're, we're putting all this money into it. I want this to be top notch. Sure. I want the acting to be on point, I want the direction, I want everything, I want this to be like amazing because I've worked on projects before and I've gotten to, you know, the a screening or premiere of or whatever it is and I've seen it and I've been like okay yeah. you know and it was very disappointing and I, I gave my time usually free as yes. an actor you're trying to just get stuff for your for your reel. Yep. I gave my time with this and I see the final product and I'm just like huh. and I had a recent experience like that. I was mm -hmm. like this is not how this is gonna turn out. This yeah. is gonna be it's gonna look beautiful, the acting's gonna be good even though Chris is in it and, <laughs> <laughs> and, and Rocky over here. Exactly. I was, I was like this, that, I did not feel that experience of my own project. You know what I mean? So, um, well, the actor was going to the idea. <laughs> was, yeah. I'm the uh, only white guy I built. <laughs> in LA. From America. Yeah. And, yeah. and I like to work for free. Yeah. Learn a lot of money after all this cheese and all my left and we were stuck with it. No, but he, was, he was very open to the idea of bringing, uh, of bringing my acting coach on, and um, who became our acting coach. And I think Avi probably even learned some stuff from him, and he definitely learned some stuff from Avi. I met with him, and he's like, I'm still in touch with Avi, do you mind? I was like, no, <laughs> do your job, whatever, yeah. I don't care. Right. And so um, I, I, I like that he was, he was open to that, and I think... Um, but if I may add to that, you know, I can tell you right now, the, the vision that Theo had, and, 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 and there's no confusion, that vision was going to make or break by the, what the director was going to do with it. Of course. And if you don't bring the right type, and we talked about it before, we even, before I even met Avi, and... and, and I knew right away, if, if you don't bring the right guy into this, then, yeah. you know, there's, this vision is so delicate. We wanted the community director, we wanted some very specific things to discuss. Yeah. Like, hey, just be a good director. It's going to be something that fits these needs and gets it. Yeah. And because it's very easy to turn the, that, that message, I, or whatever you want to call it, that, that, the, I guess the root or the, the, that charisma of what it is into mm -hmm. something that's too funny, too cheesy, or too serious. Sure. And you needed somebody that really was able to, to, to look at us neutrally, and, 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 and make that vision happen. Right. You know, because we knew what he had, but we, we, we didn't, we also we wouldn't have the talent to direct that. Right. You know I mean, so to it's give that a guy We should direct that. We don't even, we don't even, what he said. He said, that's true. He said, we can just take the money. We don't even, we can direct it ourselves. Oh, no, we can edit it. We could not, we could oh, not. Oh, editing have, too? You know, we could not yeah. have directed it ourselves. Yeah, we could not have done it. And this guy was, was willing yeah. to work for free. He's like, I just want the opportunity to do it. He wanted to work for free. I'm like, I can't, I mean, I was like, in my I head, I was, like, yeah. I was like, yeah, but then I was like, I can't let someone work for me for, I can't, like, I have to get some, some people, like, I just can't, you know what I mean? And especially with what he brought to the yeah. table, you right. know? Theo brings up a very good point, it goes back to that trust. I, I, I'm not personally, I mean, I work with, unless it was something where I was like an extra bigger name directors, but I haven't worked with a director on, on this scale where I would have been willing to give up that trust. Sure. Because I knew what we had was way too good to give it up to, to some newbie that's in a school and needs something for his thesis and right. it's going to be all about him to get what he needs and not... I kind of want, was that protective over it. And know? we did vet quite a few people. It wasn't like yeah. we just saw it or looked into two yeah. people. We yeah. looked at a lot of people's stuff and it was, you know... Because I remember telling you, it was, it was, it was going to live and die by what the director does with it. You sure. know what I mean? So, 
um, and and I think it speaks to to for, for itself uh, uh, about Avi's character and as a director too yeah. to be able to to enhance that vision rather than, than make it about him or make it about the actors and 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 I think that's ultimately what something to be very very proud of you know yeah. uh, when you see that it really translates on on, on the screen. Yeah. This is this is how you know you're good actors. You can be quiet and let them know. It's not as it. Oh man. Um, I should, I'm sorry. Go ahead, no, go ahead. I'm interested to know, like, maybe some of the challenges um, that you faced. Well, um, aside from Marco, um, <laughs> Marco Ringley, um, some of the challenges that you had with the project. Overall, this was, and, and don't take this to mean that it was less than anything else I've done, but it was probably the least challenging product uh, project for me personally. But I think that's because that. Uh, well, the challenge is, you know, when you when you want something and you're, you're and it's the struggle to get, right? And so, I mean, whenever I take on a project, um, I, don't, I don't know if I've talked to you about this or not, I don't think I have. Whenever I take something on, uh, the first thing that I always goes to my head is why am I doing this? Um, you know, it's, it, for me this was very clear, there was two things that I wanted. Um, you know, it, it obviously wasn't going to be a money thing for me, um, but it was, the, one was the chance to just direct, which the moment you said, okay, you have the job, I'm directing, and so it's no longer a challenge. And the other one, and this this is really, this was like the big one for me that carried through, and this is, if you talk to anybody, any of the team that I got on, this is exactly what I pitched them too, was it's, for me being someone who's younger and, and still, you know, trying to trying to make my mark and whatnot, um, I know what it's like to have a dream and to need help getting it done. And it's very rare, I think, in life that any of us have the opportunity to really look at somebody else's life and say, I can actually help these people accomplish their dream. And I can do a good job of it. And um, for me, it was like, that's something that I can really get. And I've had people do that for me. And it's, uh, you know, and it was like, so for me, the whole thing was about how do I get this to a place that will make you guys happy? Mm -hmm. And so when there was a challenge or something that should be a challenge, it was also the solution in that, which was just simply like, what would make them the happiest, you know? And that's really how I tried to approach it. Mm -hmm. And things became very easy, you know? Um, I think the biggest challenge overall, though, uh, was with you. Mm -hmm. And that was getting you to, and we've talked about this, getting you to let go of the producer creative role and feel and leave that stress behind and just enjoy your time on set. Um, I know there were a few times that you know about and something you don't where things happen on set and you found out later and you know <laughs> and whatever. But uh, you know director. it was it was about yeah that was the biggest my biggest <clears throat> concern and uh, I think we managed it. Well, just, just to give credit where credit is due, because it is a good project and that it attracted a lot of people. But I also want to say that the people who worked on it were good. You know, mm -hmm. for, you know our grips, our, whatever, our PAs. And, and so, yeah, you know, good projects. Everybody starts to get on as soon as they put, but I'd say that our core team yeah. uh, mm -hmm. is doing it out of love. Right. You know, which is really yeah, Absolutely. Yeah. Well, absolutely. That's great. And I think, uh, obviously, for, for all of us, um, ideally, like, we want this to go, to go all the way, like, as far as it can possibly go, but uh, for me, uh, just the experience has been great. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and um, it's, it, what's what I've been saying from the very beginning is like I hope that someone will get something mm -hmm. out of this. You know what I mean? Like right. whether it's you know, you, as an actor, you have you know comedy for your reel that you didn't have before. As a director, you have something you can add to your reel, or you know, you can showcase what you can do, and somebody likes that work and wants to give you another opportunity. You know, it's just um, or. Marco, he composed um, some of the music for this, so it's like, oh, wow. you know, maybe somebody would hear that and want to do something for, you know, whatever sure, it is, like, sure. some, something, someone gets something out of this um, whole yeah. process. The best part is, like Avi said, when this show makes it big, we can finally have money to re recast Smitty. <laughs> I'm already awesome. looking at the other white guys. <laughs> I'm going to retire. I said, 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 I'm so, uh, you didn't have to be perfect. A little bit more talented. I have to wear heels. I stand on the apple box, whatever. I'm comfortable. Uh, I, I, I think another neat thing that all of us have is that we all have a lot of neat, neat kind of skills, too. Like, Marco actually did write the theme song, and he does play guitar, and he's a pilot. I don't know who would ever fly with that guy, but he's a pilot. I actually am a light, a light opera musical theater singer. I'm sure Theo does something. What's that? Want to sing a verse? We should sing. Then what happened, dude? No. <laughs> uh, <laughs> no? I, 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 they can always turn it up. Yeah, they can always turn it up. What happened? <laughs> Come on, buddy. Uh, how does it go? Uh, this is the story of three wise.
white men <laughs> trying to make it big in LA. We're best friends even though he's gay. <laughs> and all that's left to know is that what happened? This isn't Broadway. <laughs> <laughs> it's cool, but it's, it's cool. It's the only entertaining part. Of <laughs> that's the only one we're gonna get. <laughs> right. Oh. oh. Okay, well you guys, thank you so much for your time. Thank you. Thank you.